Don't forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my trades before they hit the market and before they hit you. Welcome back to another video on the finance value guy. And as you guys can see in today's video, we have a situation where there is a huge Dogecoin update coming. And this is something that as a Dogecoin holder, you should know about, okay? The development of the coin is something that is fundamental to the tokenomics, well, not actually tokenomics, but to how, the, well, Jesus Christ, I'm all over the place. What I'm trying to say, guys, is that updates are something that you should pay attention to because they do change the fundamentals of how the coin works and they do increase the valuability of the coin and thus increase the price of the coin. So as you guys can see here, um, this guy, okay, and if you don't know who this guy is as a Dogecoin holder, don't worry, it's not crazy, but this guy actually created Dogecoin and basically a couple of hours ago, he tweeted, okay, I'm very uh, I'm very excited about the reduction of transaction fees and the upcoming Dogecoin release, okay? And this is something that I have documented very much in my... Um, you know, in my recent videos. Um, and as you guys can see right here, it says Dogecoin should always be inexpensive to send uh, around in my awareness, spread the silliness. So basically what this update is, is this is the reduction in transaction fees for Dogecoin. Now, um, I think this announcement may be a little bit bigger than we do know, because there are some things that I think could be potentially tied to this. Although I'm not 100% confirmed on this, but I'm gonna be talking about that later on in the video, why I think this is a little bit more bullish than people do realize. So um, yeah, so as you guys can see, the reason I picked up this tweet as well, um, it's basically because of, as you guys can see right here, Elon Musk liked this tweet. Now, I am following, okay, a Twitter account, okay, which says Elon Musk, well, it shows you every Elon like and reply. Every time Elon Musk does something on his Twitter account, it shows you everything. So if you want if you want to get all the updates, just follow that. And then and when you follow that, just make sure you turn notifications on so that you can, you know, find out about that, all of that stuff. That's how I saw this because sometimes it's very, very hard to see exactly what Elon Musk does. Okay, so as you guys can see right here, it says, I'm very excited about really the, 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 and it says Elon Musk liked this tweet. Now, why did Elon Musk like this tweet? Well, it, I think it's pretty obvious because of course, as we guys know, um, if we go on the Dogecoin um, develop that are on the, on the GitHub and basically GitHub is a development website. As you guys can see right here um and basically uh, this is where the website is that people can see how things are being worked on now of course you remember okay there were three okay wow that's not what i meant to use there were three major things one and then we had two and then we had three guys there were three major things okay in which we knew that was going to be part of our scenario when we were coming with the dogecoin update guys and these were the main three projects okay we had operations such friendly which was something to make the ui easier then um some other stuff as well we had the next major one 1.21 this update right here guys this is the key one okay the next major 1.21 this is the next um a major update to dogecoin okay that is going to change how this coin works how the speed and fun functionality of this coin actually works guys and that coin right there okay is a coin okay update which is definitely going to be interesting so when we click this you go on github you click the next major 1.21 you guys can see okay that the next major 1.21 okay there are a lot of stuff done guys these guys can see overall okay 40 of the top have been done okay and this is really good this is really nice as you guys can see so we only have four things left to do okay four major things left to do and we were always talking about okay the major one okay the major one that i think okay is um you know something that is uh probably on the side of the like i guess you could say very very bullish side and look okay this is the handle very large transaction outputs okay and this was something that needs to be reviewed now one thing that we do know about dogecoin is that um you know for any cryptocurrency in order to be used as a large um, method of payment effectively what we need is we need something that can actually handle large transaction outputs because although yes of course you know dogecoin can you know be used for small transactions but there were two main issues okay well two main issues number one one of the issues that we did have on dogecoin was that there was a hard fee set okay and this is something that we talked about before basically there was a hard fee set on dogecoin now this hard fee was essentially i guess you could say okay let me just use this whiteboard and explain it to you basically what we had okay was um we the hard fee okay was that one dogecoin okay and i think that's the dogecoin logo okay um is uh one dogecoin guys and 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 that was basically the fee okay one dogecoin was one dogecoin when it came to the fee so it was one dogecoin equal be one fee but if we have one dogecoin for every transaction as the price of dogecoin increases okay we know that oh before dogecoin was like 007 cents so it was extremely cheap okay like it was like 0, 0.00 cents guys and that was extremely cheap but now dogecoin is at like 30 cents guys now 30 cents for a transaction isn't crazy but when we look at what banks do like mastercard and visa they do the transactions okay for like free pretty much free okay or like very 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 low okay so um especially if dogecoin goes to one dollars or even two dollars transactions being one dollars or two dollars okay 
that's not good for the coin at all, guys. For the actual users, yes, it means you can sell it, yada, yada, yada. But if we're actually trying to use this as, you know, a cryptocurrency, then this is actually bad. That's not something we do want. So um, the point I'm trying to make, guys, is that we have a situation where, you know, a lot of this stuff needs to be updated. So basically, what one of the updates I think they are working on as well is a dynamic fee, meaning that if we have a tree, a fee, uh, a, a transaction for a million dollars, okay, then potentially, instead of the transaction being, you know, I guess you could say, you know, one doge equals, um, you know, two dollars or whatever. Um, and the transaction fee being two dollars, it would be dynamic, meaning it would be cha changed based on how large a transaction is, guys. So um, if there was a small transaction, it wouldn't be a two dollar fee. It would be probably two cents. So that is something that they are working on and something that we do need to happen if this coin is to get a bit more functionality, guys. So um, this I put so this is something that is, um, you know, that they're working on. And the reason why I said that this is going to be very interesting is if we go on the top 100 richest dogecoin addresses on wallets guys you guys can see okay that this wallet right here the cs5 wallet when we looked okay at this dogecoin well okay that transferred over 3.6 billion doge or 1.18 million dollars worth of doge right now okay at the time okay what they actually did okay they transferred it between many 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 different wallets guys it was being transferred many many different times now some people you know, I led to believe that this um, SF5 wallet is Elon Musk's wallet. And, you know, there's a lot of um, speculation behind that and a lot of reasoning as to why that is most likely true. But what also was interesting, guys, is that, you know, with all of these transactions going back and forth between many different accounts, many people speculated that this was, okay, the, the transaction speed being worked on because, you know, as you guys can see, this wallet right here, this old wallet, okay, well, not old wallet, but, you know, a pretty interesting dogecoin wallet okay this wallet was continually sending large amounts of um dogecoin like billions from accounts to different accounts okay and we figured that maybe they were figuring out this okay the very large transaction output so i don't know if that was something that you know um was being tested on and i feel like maybe that elon musk was definitely helping the dogecoin developers because of course if you're doing the large transaction outputs maybe you need a large amount of dogecoin this is the speculation that was going on right now of course none of this is confirmed this is all pure speculation based on the information that we have at hand we can only hope that this is the case but currently what we're waiting on guys for this update and elon musk actually liked this update okay is that we need to just i guess you could say wait for this to be finished now of course when we look at what we have to, on the to-do list there's only four things left on the to-do list i'm not a coder okay but I do know that coding is something that cannot be rushed, okay? Whether it's done, because I used to code when I was younger. So when it's done, it's done, guys. There's no, um, like, you can't rush it. Like, when it's done, it's done and it's completed. But, um, yeah, so... So guys can see there's some stuff in progress here so i think maybe within the next couple of weeks maybe within the next couple of months i don't know guys but we just do know that this major update um once it's done it's definitely going to be a good thing for doge because as you guys know one of the main reasons as to why people hated dogecoin guys was the fact that it wasn't updated it was an old project that the developers had abandoned and that was the reason why people hated it so with that being said, guys, I definitely feel like this is definitely more bullish, especially if once this update goes live and if Elon Musk liked this tweet, okay, definitely it could signal that once this update goes live, maybe Elon Musk may actually make a statement about his Dogecoin transactions if they are his and what is in the future for Dogecoin, especially with the SpaceX update. So with that being said, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like, don't subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.